Hi, Janet here with this week's exercise, which is another visualisation because we established last week how important this is for neurological change and development. And what I want you to understand this week, the key message is how important the emotion is when you're doing a visualisation, because that's really what your brain uses to record whether or not something is worth saving. So if you imagine that each day you're exposed to all of these different experiences and you create all of these new neurological pathways and then at night when you sleep the neurological dustbin men come round and they remove the pathways that they don't think are worth saving. So if you want to create a new pathway and keep it there it needs to be flagged, if you like, with a real positive emotion. And then when the neurological bin men come round, they say that one needs to stay because that really means something. So if you just think, oh, well, I wish I was slim and I imagine myself walking past the biscuit tin, I do this and I do that, and it's all airy-fairy, it's nice when you do it, but it won't be enough to make a really powerful neurological map. And this is what we really want to do. Remember, when it happens in your mind, it's as real as if it happens in the physical world. So I want you to really focus today on how you want to feel rather than how you don't want to feel. Often when I work with people and I say, well, what, you know, what's, what is it that you want to achieve? And they say, well, I don't want to be fat or I'm fed up of this or I'm fed up of that but you can't hit a target you're not aiming at. So this visualization is really about identifying your target so that you can give yourself a neurological goal because once you change your mind, everything changes, but your mind has to buy into the concept. So it's always a good idea to start by tapping the side of the hand, take two or three deep breaths and close your eyes. Now, I want you to imagine Again, that you've been transported in time to a time when you've already achieved your goal, whatever that goal is. Imagine you're stepping out of a TARDIS-like time machine into the future and you've already changed. And just run through a movie of your life now you've already changed. And I want you to really notice two or three benefits that you hadn't thought of before. Not the usual generic, I feel much better stuff, but just imagine yourself now going through a day in your life now, you've really changed. That's right. The way that you interact with yourself, the internal dialogue, how's that changed now? the way you interact with other people. How's that changed now? And because you've changed, how you feel is better. And if you need to, you can just pause this video and spend a few minutes reflecting and noticing two or three things. And maybe they might seem like little things at first, but when repeated over time become really big things. Things that really feel good. Benefits that you hadn't even thought of before. And as you do this, your mind can anchor these benefits to all of the things you're changing. Now, as you generate that good feeling and imagine what it's like now, you've already changed. You might want to squeeze that finger and thumb together again and reinforce that positive anchor. And rewind this video and do it several times. Pause it, take all the time you need to really create the most desirable target and goal. That way, your brain will take you there. That's right.